I recently spent a day in Pontiac, Illinois with Precision Planting at their PTI farm along with a bunch of other farmers. It's a pretty cool place. I'll take you with me and show you what I saw. Believing in better is a mindset to pursue excellence in everything you do. It's welcoming opportunities to improve your farm and knowing that your best season is simply a starting point for this season. Precision planting is for farmers like you who believe in better. The hotel is closer to the PTI farm than my house is to my actual farm. Kind of like back home looking at the neighbor's combine. So before we get into some of the sessions they had throughout the day and just doing a quick flyover with my drone of the farm, it's actually a two and a half acre pond they dug out there to be able to drain this farm with tile and then also irrigate out of that. You can see here they've got some strip cropping. We'll see that later. Whole bunch of soybeans. What's cool about going out here, I'd never been out here before, is they're doing all kinds of field trials just to learn things agronomically. Uh, they have their products to sell, and of course you're going to see that there. But they're doing all kinds of trials similar to stuff we do on our farm. So not everything is a sales pitch, which is what I really like. I'm not somebody that likes to be sold on something. I just want to see for myself, you know, and I like that they're doing all these things on these 400 acres that they've got out here. So it's a really neat place to go visit. Uh, you can get online and you can find times to visit as well and get the tour. Uh, I was there with a couple other social media people and a whole bunch of other farmers that were uh, just there for the day. So pretty neat to see everything they've got going on. We had 2.7, but then all of a sudden I get rid of the deep tillage and I go reduce till. It's vertical till, no till, and look how thorough force explodes. Some basic information about the field, and then I'll have you just walk down this row. Okay. Know. So there you'll see it, it yeah. actually detected the uh, ground plane. You go click, you can measure something arbitrarily. Yeah. Okay. Yep, and so it's gonna, it's gonna go ahead and go you see So now you can go ahead and start walking. So this is the Symphony spraying system that they're coming out with. This is their version of a PWN system, so that's really fine nozzle by nozzle control. And you can see that we're running at the slowest rate that I can go right now, and so it's pulsing wide enough that I, I can actually see it pulsing, but I'm maintaining right about 50 psi, so I've got the proper spray pattern I'm looking for because I think the right nozzle pattern. There it is, pulsing in slow motion. You can really see it. You like a little open hole down here, and you can thread that up or down into the spring. That's how you would change your This depth. is your fan control module. It also serves as a power supply to the hub that goes up on the roof. If you head out here, I can guarantee you, you will be well fed. Now, all of you folks who farm, what's one of the biggest things that you cannot control in farming? Mother Nature. <laughs> Mother Nature, yes. Water, specifically, for me. So I'm going to tell you a little story. <laughs> we go over here, this side. This is the city of Pontiac. If I put tile in, put an outlet in, where am I going to send the water? There would only be one spot. What would that be? The storm sewer system. You think the city's going to let me do that? we got spots like this that I call prairie potholes. You guys have this on your farms at home? An area, a low area of the farm when it rains, water stands. You're buying expensive seed, you're buying expensive fertilizer, putting herbicide on, but then when you roll the combine, there's no crop in it to harvest. You guys have those? <laughs> this needs time, but there's nowhere to take the water. And I said, how can we take, get this, on your own, take an 80 of your own home farm. How do we take two and a half acres out of your 80 to make the rest of the farm better? That's what we did on this farm. So we brought the high hose, the excavators in, and I said, square it up. Just square it up, all this wet area up here, and let's dig her out. We dug her 25 foot deep. How do you think I'm going to fill it with water? I'm going to address the first water problem I've got with tile. We've got our tile machines in. Until the rain came last Saturday, I was pumping a quarter million gallon a day out of that mine. I don't remember. Good question. I need to look that up. I don't remember how many millions of gallons. Let's say you see a problem from the road. Then what do you do? Do you stop the truck, go out and walk, walk the field? No, you get on the phone and you call somebody say, hey, come look at it. Our scouting process here is I ain't got time to walk every single acre. I don't. Our crop scout is actually one of the seed corn dealers, but like, mm. he, it's a package deal. So I don't know exactly how much per acre it is, but yeah. 
So you're build, building into the corn. Yeah, he does an unbelievable yeah. job. So This is going to be our initial scout. It's a helicopter right now. Rotary. Now watch what happens here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Boom. Look at that. We switched to a fixed wing. What? What's that? Tell me your thoughts on a spray UAV. We, we're spraying three gallons of the acre right now. Three. I get less than one acre per gallon. Now, look at the corn. Look how that corn's moving. The props are pushing that air down. Why would that be a good thing? Yeah, that, that spray application, we're just water right now, but think of that as a fungicide, getting that down into the canopy. Okay. Strip cropping. I had a, a farmer come to me three years ago, and he said, Jason, I'd like you to test something for me. I said, oh, yeah, what's that? He said, I'd like you to test sunlight with these guys to drive yield. So when we first started doing this, this is actually a sucker right here, by the way, throwing an ear on when we outside, getting doubled the sun. We were getting a 60 bushel yield response. 60. In 16 row blocks, I'm running, you know, 220 bushel corn in the center of the 16 row blocks, and I'm pushing over 300 bushel on some of the outside rows in some, in some cases. It was unbelievable. That was my trip out to the PTI farm in Pontiac, Illinois. Pretty cool. Thanks to Precision Planning for having me out there. It's a pretty good day. Got to hang out with some new people, meet some other social media types. Good day. Learn some things. Got to see some of the products we don't have up close and personal. So very cool. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time around. Bye.